Welcome back to Shell Up's Fund Anatomy and Physiology videos. In today's video, we'll be explaining cobbler's pose, cues, and anatomy for cobbler's pose, benefits, contraindications, and maybe weave in a little system or two. So I'll ask Ashley to draw the soles of her feet together. So in cobbler's pose, just so that there's a lot that goes on in cobbler's pose, and this is not accessible for everybody. So if somebody has bad knees or a bad lower back, you would ask, you would ask them to place props there, or the other, if you don't have props, guess what? You bring your feet away from your body. Yeah, you bring the feet away. This pose is accessible for everybody, and the benefits are just, there's a long list of benefits. Not a laundry list, a long list of benefits. So I'm going to ask Ashley to start with her legs here. Even though she does have her flexibility, I'm gonna ask her to start with her legs here. And I always like to have the shoulders relaxed. So how do I get the shoulders relaxed? I have her draw her elbows a little closer in. And then from here, we'll start with a Tadasana, seated Tadasana. So I'm gonna have, have her lift up to the crown of the head. Draw the belly in and up. And then draw your attention inward as you scan the internal body. Noticing if there's any areas. She'll engage her core. She'll open through the chest to stretch. She's engaging the muscles of the lower back to support her seat. Her glutes are working to support her. Hamstrings, inner thighs, quads are all stretching here. And I'll ask Ashley to inhale her arms out and overhead. Inhale. Exhale, begin to fold at the hip, fold at the hip with the flat back. Reach her hands toward the earth with a flat back. As she draws her, as she draws her feet closer towards the body, I'll ask her to take her hands and reach with her hands forward, lengthen forward, palms facing the earth, and then palms reaching the earth. Lifting the chin and chest, inhale, walking the hands forward, exhale and lower the head toward the earth. Cobbler's pose, Baba Konasana, stretching the entire upper back, mid back, lower back, neck, glutes, hamstring, getting into the fascia. That's another system we'll explain the fascial system and the importance. The longer you hold this pose, the more calming it is for the nervous system. The longer you hold, Hold this pose, the fascia, which we'll explain, think about the fascia as clothes over your skin, begins to open and expand. And that's where we begin to make changes in the body. She's bringing blood flow to her pelvic floor, which is very important for digestion, for elimination, for immunity. She's calming her nervous system, calming her circulatory system, elongating the fascia of the back body, the posterior or back body, stretching her hamstrings, her glutes, her thighs, quads, front of the legs, shins, lower back, mid, upper back, upper back muscles, she's stretching her lats, traps, rhomboids, deltoids, the rear of the deltoids, and engaging and lengthening her core and oblique muscles. Inhale. Exhale. Cobbler's pose, Baro Konasana. Namaste.